The third process of the EDM domain, ensure risk optimization, has three process goals. The first goal is to ensure that key IT risks are identified, and that risk thresholds are communicated. The achievement of this goal is by measuring the level of alignment between IT and business risks, and by the number of potential IT risks identified. The second goal is to ensure that critical IT risks are managed effectively and efficiently. It is measured by the percent of IT risk actions executed on time, and by the percent of critical risks mitigated effectively. The third goal is to ensure that the IT risk does not exceed the enterprise's risk appetite. Its achievement is measured by the percent of IT risks that exceed the risk tolerance. There are many entities that have to play a role in this process. From a RACI charts perspective, the entity that is held responsible for this process is the executive management, including the chief executive officer, the chief risk officer, and the chief information officer. The entity that will be held accountable for the process is the board. The entities that are to be consulted include, the chief financial officer, the business process owners, and the compliance and audit functions. This process has three practices which are, evaluate risk management, direct risk management, and monitor risk management. The first practice which is evaluate risk management receives input that includes, the emerging risk issues from the AP012 process, and the enterprise risk management principles from external sources. The practice generates three outputs which are, the risk appetite guidance, the approved risk tolerance levels, and the evaluation of risk management activities, all used by the AP012 process. There are several activities in this practice that include, determining the IT risk appetite of the enterprise, and getting approval that the risk thresholds are acceptable. IT risks should be evaluated to support the enterprise's strategic decision-making process. IT practices and the use of IT should be risk-assessed and evaluated, in compliance with the relevant standards.